Aloha, welcome back to DeFi Tactics. Remember, this is not financial advice. Do not make any financial decisions based on my word alone. Always do your own research. With that said, today we're gonna to discuss the stability pool on Flare Loans, what it is, what we need to do with it, how to manage it, and we're gonna do our portfolio update. It's been about three days, so we're gonna take a look at what we need to do with that. Let's get to it. stability pool, we can deposit Canary Dollar in order to receive Deflare rewards and Songbird liquidation profits. I'm here on the help.flr.finance page. Here I'm under the Flare Loans and Flare Loans documentation tab on the left hand side and I've gone to the stability pool. It says as follows. Canned or Canary Dollar holders can choose to deposit their stablecoin into the stability pool, thus becoming stability providers. The stability pool is the primary tool maintaining the system's solvency. It is the source of liquidity to repay debts from liquidated nests, ensuring that the total Canary Dollar supply always remains backed by the collateral. So essentially, the Canary Dollar is used in the stability pool to repay some liquidated debt positions. So somebody takes out a loan or a mint's canary dollar and then falls below that 110% collateralization ratio, they get liquidated, they keep their canary dollar, but lose that songbird collateral. Moving on, under the liquidation section, when a nest is liquidated, an amount of canary dollar corresponding to the remaining debt of the nest is burned from the stability pool's balance. This effectively repays the nest's debt. So those of you that have participated in the stability pool have realized that the initial balance you deposited on the canary dollar has probably decreased since you initially put it in. This is because that canary dollar is being burned to repay that bad debt or that liquidated nest or debt position. In exchange for the burned canary dollar, the entire collateral from the nest is transferred to the stability pool. Therefore, over time, stability providers lose a pro rata share of their canary dollar deposits while gaining a pro rata share of the liquidated collateral. Because nests are likely to be liquidated at just below 110% collateral ratios, it is expected that the stability providers will receive a greater dollar value of collateral relative to the canary dollar being burned from their contributions in the stability pool. So what does this mean? This means that since the collateral that's being sent to the stability pool in exchange for the canary dollar being burned, since that collateral is just under 110%, there should be an expectation to earn or make that nine, eight, nine and a half percent over the amount of canary dollar that was burned. However, some people have received less canary dollar when they go to swap their songbird back into canary dollar. This is because the price of songbird is in a constant state of upward and downward movement. If at the time of the canary dollar being burned, the price of songbird is at say 40 cents, and then by the time you go to swap that songbird, that songbird price is now down to 38 cents, essentially we will receive less canary dollar. However, the reverse is true. If when our canary dollar is burned to receive that liquidation profit and the price of Songbird is say at 40 cents and then the price of Songbird increases to say 42 cents, we can actually earn more canary dollar on the swap if the price of Songbird is higher than the price was when the liquidation profits came over and the canary was burned. The canary dollar, excuse me. So what I'm doing is if I have Songbird liquidation profits and the price is say lower, I'm holding off on swapping that Songbird back to canary dollar to put it back in the stability pool. If however, the Songbird price is higher, then I'm swapping that Songbird liquidation profit into Canary Dollar and actually making a slight profit. This is also in conjunction with earning DFLR rewards. If you're getting anything out of this video, go ahead and hit that like and subscribe button and leave me a comment in the comment section below. Also, don't forget to check out that join button next to the subscribe button. And if you're interested, check out my Patreon. The link for the Patreon is in the description down below. 
So let's go ahead and do our portfolio update. It's been about three days or so since I have done anything with this portfolio. As you can see, we are on the Flare Loan site under the Nest tab. We have a collateralization ratio of 172.17%. That gives us a liquidation price based on our debt and collateral at 25 cents with the current Songbird or wrapped Songbird price at 40 cents. Moving on to the stability pool, we can see that we've got 1,415 Canary dollars in with liquidation profits sitting just over 3.4 Songbird. This means there hasn't been many liquidations as not much canary dollar has been burned and we don't have that many liquidation profits. Our D flare is sitting at 2.4054 based on this collateral debt position and the amount of canary dollar staked in the stability pool. So we want to stake this D flare into the D flare staking. However, this isn't too much of a liquidation profit, so I'm not gonna bother converting or swapping any of this Songbird back into Canary Dollar. So today we're just gonna claim these D Flare rewards, go over to the farm, claim those rewards, and then get those D Flare staked in the D Flare staking pool. So, as I usually do, I'm gonna click on the withdraw. I'm gonna withdraw one Canary Dollar and I'm going to withdraw the canary dollar. I'm gonna go ahead and confirm the transaction and wait for confirmation. We got a successful transaction, so now all of these profits have been claimed. So switching over to the Flare Farm, we can see that based on these 696 Flare X liquidity pool tokens staked over the past three days, we've earned about 1.1766 D Flare. So we're gonna go ahead and click the claim button. We're going to confirm the transaction and wait for confirmation. We got a successful transaction. As you can see, the unclaimed amount of D-Flare has dropped back down to zero. To confirm that we did receive the D-Flare, I'm going up to my MetaMask extension. I'm gonna swap back over to my assets and we've got the 3.64 wrapped Songbird that was liquidation profit. And we can see down here that the 3.583 D flare is sitting in the wallet. So we're about to deposit that D flare into the D flare staking pool. However, I still have that one canary dollar that I withdrew from the stability pool. As you can see, the D flare staking pool, we've earned 1.59 canary dollar and just under one songbird over the past three days. So I'm gonna wait until I deposit this D flare into the D flare staking, which will automatically claim these rewards. And then we'll jump back to the stability pool where I can deposit these canary dollar rewards as well. So let's go ahead and click deposit. We're gonna slide this slider all the way to the max. We're gonna click deposit. We will then click confirm and wait for confirmation. We got a successful transaction. As you can see, the amount of D-Flare has increased in the D-Flare staking pool and the rewards have been automatically claimed. So let's go back on over to the stability pool. Let's deposit that one Canary Dollar plus the Canary Dollar rewards by sliding the slider all the way to the max. We will click deposit we will confirm the transaction and then wait for confirmation. We got a successful transaction, meaning we claimed all of our rewards. We did the managing that we needed to to ensure that the portfolio is earning as much as possible. So that about wraps it up for this video. Again, I just wanted to go over what the stability pool was and why that canary dollar gets burned in exchange for songbird profits. As always, it's nice to be important, but it's more important to be nice. We'll catch you next time on DeFi Tactics. So I know it's been a few days since I've posted an update. Uh, there's been a little issue with the water supply here and some fuel leakage. So my water is basically from the tap unusable. So I've been using a lot of bottled water and yeah, just making sure that I'm not bathing myself or my son in any of that dirty fuel water. Moving on, we can see under the liquidacent. Mm. So for those of you that have participated in the nest, mm. no, not the nest. So for those of you that are, so for those of you that have participated in the stability pool, you know and you realize 
This is because the price of Songbird is in a constant taste. Uh, constant taste. Moving over to the stability pool, we can see that nothing has shown up.